The history of IEEE Access is it was the IEEE's first major open access journal. It's very much in the spirit of what IEEE is all about, I think, to have a journal like IEEE Access. IEEE Access is an incredibly successful journal by any measure. Allowing the development cycle and the dissemination of research to be much, much faster than even conferences. We've clearly seen the appetite for it over the past decade. Uh, because we went from, you know, publishing only 60-something articles in the first year to, you know, over 67,000 articles on Explore today. At the time, IEEE really hadn't gotten into um, the area of open access publishing. So I would give all credit to our Vice President of Publications at the time, Dave Hodges, who was a very well-known researcher and uh, knowledgeable about the business of publishing and was able to predict that open access was going to become something we wanted to be involved in as IEEE. I became uh, initially involved in IEEE access because I really believed in the open access movement and I saw IEEE access as a way of getting involved but also maintaining quality at the same time because I knew IEEE had high standards. Things are becoming more and more interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary. And sometimes these things don't really squarely fit within the scope of any specific journal or any specific society. And you need a home for these kinds of um, evolutionary um, thoughts and results and solutions that the scientific uh, community is putting together. And I IEEE Access is a great home for that sort of thing. I'll never forget when Michael Peck, the first editor of IEEE Access, contacted me and asked me to write an invited paper for the very first IEEE Access journal in 2013. He asked me if I had any interesting research, and I had just completed the world's first measurements in Manhattan showing that millimeter wave frequencies could actually work better, provide orders of magnitude more capacity for the cellular industry. IEEE Access was the first journal I ever submitted a paper with an exclamation point. I knew millimeter wave would work, and I knew this was the way to get the attention of not just reviewers, but also researchers, companies, students, faculty, to see that this truly was a viable new technology. Many authors love publishing in IEEE Access. One of the key reasons, apart from being open access, is that it's got a very fast turnaround time. Without sacrificing quality, without sacrificing, you know, the IEEE stamp, the quality thing is first and foremost. In building products and providing services, we work with researchers every day. They're the people who do the article reviews for us, who are editors-in-chief, they're academics, they're practicing engineers. We talk to them every day. IEEE Access has uh, an editorial staff um, and article administrators that help facilitate the peer review process for the associate editors. I'm always blown away by how um, uh, remarkable the talent pool is across all of these editors. And I think, okay, this, you know, we're doing the right thing as a journal then. I've been so amazed and pleased at the impact that IEEE Access has had. And I wish all the editors, associate editors, authors, a hearty congratulations on this, the 10th year it's great that uh, IEEE Access has been going for 10 years and has been such, such a success. It's been a stellar experience. It's, it's a great accomplishment. So happy 10th anniversary, Access. Happy 10th IEEE Access. Congratulations. Congratulations.